Uh, Peter, tomorrow's your anniversary. Ah, crap. If Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. Chris, turn the TV off. We gotta find an anniversary gift for Mom and Dad. Don't look! We're shopping! We're shopping! Oh, kids, you don't need to do anything special for our anniversary. Just your father. What the hell? Lois, it's an anniversary scavenger hunt. Your first clue is at the Quahog Mini Mart. Love, Peter. Oh, how fun! <clears throat> okay, kids, keep your eyes peeled for a clue. Mom, I found Dad's first clue. I can't believe your father organized this. Usually he can't even handle simple tasks. Peter, why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lois, he's done it again! Wait a minute. All right, gentlemen, before you tee off, here are your complimentary monogrammed bag towels, a sleeve of balls, and this mobile ball cleaner. Clean as a whistle, sir. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna get short by touching your spit, am I? <laughs> You'd be the first, champ. Now let's grip it and rip it. The Fed is gonna be lowering rates, so get your money out of T-bills and put it all into waffles, tasty waffles, with lots of syrup. Waffles! Buy waffles! 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 Peter, let's pack it in. There's too much water out here. Yeah, let's hit the bar, huh? Oh, come on. There's worse things in life than rain. Like, uh, like, like spiders. Oh, he's behind the door. <clears throat> Pina, he's bothering everyone. Say something. Say something, I'll kick his ass. Someone ought to kick his ass. Don't go in there. Pina. All right, all right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was bad. I knew he... Ah! We'll be in the clubhouse. Go on, run away. More golf course for me. That was close. Huh, that looks dangerous. Somebody's gonna get hurt. That'll be fine. <gasps> you, you again? Okay, it says the next note will be right under my nose. And quick out in front, Silver Dasher, followed by my nose. Ah, uh -huh. hold my purse. My nose out in front, followed by Sea Biscuit, followed by some crazy lady, followed by a middle aged housewife, followed by, wait a minute, who's that? Followed by Silver Dasher. And now it appears there's a woman chasing the dogs. Let's go, kids. Oh, Death, please don't take me now. Relax, you're not dying. You're just having a near death experience. Oh, thank God. Oh. Yeah, thank God. Thank God I get to hang out with a fascinating gent like yourself. So w when am I gonna die? About two years after your wife divorces you. What the hell are you talking about? Lois would never leave me. She's been crazy about me since the night we met. Thin I was. My, this is certainly a beautiful night. I love looking at stars. Say no more. <laughs> Oh, my God! I love Artie Johnson! And why don't you give him a kiss? No. Uh, oh, Peter, get away from me! I've never met... Man, she was beautiful. You know, this looks awfully familiar. Wait a second. I remember this. That's me! Look at all that hair. Oh, can't believe I thought that looked good. I must have been high. Look at that, huh? Huh? There's no way she's gonna leave me. Now put me back in my freaking body, all right? I can't put you back until you have a revelation. You know, one of those things that changes your life. How the hell with this? I'm going home. What are you doing? You can't get in that way. I'm sure as hell not going in the back door. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have time for this. Listen, I'm late for an appointment. 
You don't want to follow procedure? Fine. Stay here in limbo. No, 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 wait, wait. I, I don't want to be in limbo. How do we get up there? Dad put grease on the pole. Don't worry, Meg. We've been studying fulcrums in school. You simply have to counterbalance the weight at the point where the lever pivots, like so. Stewie, honey, you want to play rocket ship? What the deuce? Blast off! Go on, Stewie. Get the note for Mommy. How dare you use me for your own personal selfish... Hmm. Who? Oh, Who oh, pulls slower? I must remember to do this again when no one's around. Wait a minute. I, I got it. I got it. I figured out my revelation. Uh, God loves a working man. No. The Shadow is, in reality, Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. No. Ah, oh, crap. I'm late. I'm in big, big trouble. Geez, you're pretty shook up about that appointment of yours. <sighs> you're deaf. What are you afraid of? When I said lunch, I said noon, not noonish. Sorry, Ma. Sorry? Is sorry gonna reheat the casserole? Where are you going? I gotta take a leak. Well, don't forget to zip up your fly. If you don't zip up your fly, a seagull will get you. Mom, hurry! I can't stand the smell! I found the note! Go back to the mini-mart. Now, this isn't very creative. Let's go, kids. Mom, you remember that goldfish we flushed down the toilet? He wasn't dead. God, she's a pain in the ass. I wish Dad was still dead. Oh, I tell you, Lois's dad was a pain in the ass when I met him. Hi, can I take my tie off yet? Oh, Peter, you look so wonderful. You aren't nervous about meeting Daddy, are you? Oh, you'll know when I'm nervous. Lois? <laughs> now. Hi, Daddy. That was me, and this is Peter. Hey, Mr. Pewterschmidt. Well, what are you feeding this gal? Huh? Peter Griffin, can I take this freaking tie off? It's a pleasure, Peter. My daughter is quite taken with you. And I'm taken with her. All right. Hey, uh, b b based on what you've seen with your wife, what, what can we expect in terms of droopage here? We talking a slight slope of a full-blown fried eggs hanging on a nail thing? Peter, what do you think of this bronze statue? It's nice. It's early Etruscan. Oh, get out of here. No, seriously. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Anson Glenn Quagmire, welcome aboard. <laughs> you picked a great day to get rescued. Could you tell me when you're leaving to go back in time? I was talking to a robe on the coat rack for 20 minutes before I realized you weren't in it. Ah, uh, for God's sake, leave me alone. I'm working. Don't yell at your mother. If you yell at your mother, a hen will lay eggs in your tummy. How romantic. Why can't you find a nice girl? Ma, she's gonna dump him. Well, at least he got that far. You know who he took to the prom? His cousin. That's weak. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it. I'm sick of both of you. Come on, Peter. Death. Back in your big fat body. Why should I help some guy save his marriage when I can't even get a girl? It could have helped you save your marriage. Oh, but too late. Oh, and uh, by the way, when the lightning hit you, you soiled yourself. Enjoy. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I can't lose Lois. Please, I'll do anything. What if I help you get a girl? Really? You, you, you think you could do that? Sure. All we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... <laughs> Shave, maybe some cologne. The chicks will be all over you. Gee, you, you really think so? Absolutely. Uh, hey, can I join you? I guess. What's your name? Josh? Do you, like, live around here? No, I, uh, I live with my mom. Let's get out of here. See ya, Josh. Tell your mom we said hi. <laughs> Heads up! <laughs> there you go, Peter. One for you, two for me. You guys go on without me. Why didn't you go with him? Eh, you don't know what it's like when you're in love. Oh, yeah? Her name's Amy. She works at a pet store. I met her last summer when her dad hung himself, but I was too shy to ask her out. Ah, oh, what's with that mustache? Huh? Let me see that. Sorry, that's Edward James almost. Here, this is her. Hey, nice ass. Oh, sorry, no, no. That's Edward James Olmos's ass. I'm gonna need that picture of ass back. Oh, yeah, right. Hi. I was just, uh, uh, and, and uh, I was just in the neighborhood, and, uh, so I thought that, uh, so, uh, you, uh, I'll, uh, 
This is a bad time. Maybe I'll just come back. Who am I kidding? I'll never get her. Not with that attitude. Come on! Robert Reed got Florence Henderson, and he was one of them toe-tapping Burgermeisters. So you went through all this trouble just to see your girl? I sure did, and I'm just a fat idiot. What's your excuse, you big chicken? Chicken? You take that back. And make me. I don't make monkeys. I train them. Uh, uh, what oh. the hell is going on out here? Um, actually, I, uh, I, uh... Actually, uh, he, he wanted to ask you something. Amy... You want to go somewhere and grab a coffee? Sure, I get off at two. Great, uh, great. Uh, I'll meet you here. Hey, <laughs> you did it. All right. <laughs> ah! 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 Hi, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. What the hell are you doing here? I want to marry Lois. Out of the question. I want you to take this and stay away from my daughter forever. Huh? <laughs> A million dollars? No deal. Lois may be worth a million to you, but to me, she's worthless. I love her, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. <gasps> Peter Frampton! Oh, no! God, please, no! I'm too young to die! Are you sure you're not supposed to be at Keith Richards' house? If you want to live, come with me! Damn, how could he lie to me on our anniversary? Our song. Happy anniversary, Lois. This is the most romantic gift you've ever given me. <laughs> well, I had a little help from a very special friend. I like animals. Uh huh. Because they're like people, just little furry people. Yeah. Um, hey, you ever go on the internet? They got some cool stuff there on that internet. Oh, yeah, I bought these shoes from a company on the internet because they don't test on animals. You know, animals never have war. War is an invention of mankind, not with nuclear arms. You can't hug your children with nuclear arms. Check, please. <laughs>